Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to a new video, you golf life legends. We are back down here at the beautiful Burr Hill, the new course. Mm. You haven't played, have you, Jim? No, I've never played this Bradley, no. Bradley? Bradley Dak, track. No, I've right. never played this, so... Um, <laughs> <laughs> like that one, didn't you? Yeah. Nice and early start, eh? Monday mornings. Um, <laughs> no, beautiful, nice and dewy. No, never played it. He's just asked me to line. Brent, I haven't got a clue where I'm going. And so. we have been joined yeah. by the legend. That is Brendan Lawler. Yes, my yes. boy. How are you, son? Yeah, looking good. forward to it. Yeah. Looking forward to it. Good memories back in the BMW. So. Ah, mate, how good was that? I couldn't get over the crowds. They just ran here to come around. <laughs> yeah, yeah they've, they're, they've come. <laughs> the unbelievable it was. Yeah, it was uh, savage. So this video is going to be you two going head to head. Yeah. Nine holes. Nice. Match play? Match, well, you two decide. You two are the, the golfers. How many shots do you want? <laughs> he looks... <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'll take a couple off you. Not a problem. <laughs> um, what are we going to do then? We do match play. Match play. Flat match. Just, yeah, Flat match. I haven't played. Look, um, no excuses. I haven't played for two weeks. Okay. So this ball could go anywhere. Right, no worries. Um, so straight match. Straight match. No shots. Nine holes. No shots. He's at it all the time. He's got, he's got plaster under there where he's been grinding. <laughs> Um, are, we yeah. doing, are we doing a forfeit for the loser? Whoa! Yeah. Steady on. Come then, what you got? Oh, well, go on then, what do you want what to do? do? You want? Buggy surfing? No, no, <laughs> definitely not buggy surfing at Burr Hill. Right. Nine holes, let's go. Right, Brend, you're up first, yeah? Right, lads, enjoy. And um, Brendan, I'm your caddy today as well. <coughs> happy days. Who's mine? Days. Huh? Fat right, isn't it? Is I haven't it? got any tees. You got any tees? Is it? I have this one here. So. <laughs> you... Two top golfers have got one tee. <laughs> I need some pink castles as well. We get them in there. Pink castles. Get on it. Good luck, lad. Come on, mate. <laughs> Stripe show, isn't it? So good. So good. Great shot, lad. I've got your tea. Brilliant <laughs> shot. <laughs> this, ladies and gentlemen, is going to be a good golf match. <laughs> Look at this. He tells he doesn't to see it. Doesn't play for two weeks. That doesn't play for two weeks and shut. It's good that, won't it? Big Come news. on the ball. There we go. Right, Brent, what you got, pal? One six two. One six two. <clears throat> bit cold, so he's going to hit seven, but I'm going to hit a little six. Start just left and cut it back to the pin. <laughs> Cracking strike there. Golf shot. Thank pin you. Eye. We'll take that one. This makes me so happy. The sound of it, it's absolutely sexual. I've got 155, so I'm going to eight iron. It's a bit wet. Early morning. Oh, coming in. Bit of a niggly lie. It's just sat down a bit, a bare bit. You should probably see that on camera. Such a late hit, Jim. Said. Shocker. <laughs> Shocker. I didn't fancy my first life back there, but I don't mean to fancy this. Wow. That's like semi, more than semi plug. I've just got a dungeon run this. Um, is it? Good shot there, Bren. 15 foot. Not against it. I've got to say, Jim, the clobber of today. Had a right go, innit? Hey, little jail. Birthday today, innit? Look like a polar bear. <laughs> <laughs> birthday jumper. Happy birthday, yeah. Happy birthday Full to blast. Jim. All the song I want. Happy birthday <laughs> to you. Cheers, Scott. Happy and you, birthday, Becco. dear Jimmy. But you used to be a week late. Happy <laughs> birthday to you. Cheers, Gold for Life legends. Love you. Now let me get my head on this shot. you <laughs> 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 50 <laughs> lizard head <laughs> coming in lizard head come on Jim oh no how have I got that much ball wow <laughs> don't lose it there 
have I got that much fear for life? I've got a little sneaky feeling here, James. Go on. I think you might sink this. 40 foot, are you alright? Remember Stephen Hendry? He wants another go. Does he? he he's been on me. Him and Mark Williams. You and Mark, you yeah. and Ange versus Stephen Hendry and Mark Williams. Yeah. Game on. Game on. Me, Ange, Williams, Hendry. Let's have it, boys. Let's go. Right, coming in. Yeah, nice. Mm. Not a bad effort, Jim. Take that with you, Jim. Two for it, mate. In or out, sir? Take it out, please. Are you always an out man? All the time. All the time. All the time. It's for a birdie, Brendan. You know what happens on this channel. Unlucky. Hold on, lad. One up. Oh, Rim Rimmer. Who's got the oh, keys, keys to, to my Bima? One up. Come on, one up. Right, Brent, second. You're one up. 500 yard par five or 510. So there's a ditch up there, can't get there. Don't that back, lad. That's pure. Yeah, that was right. Money, weren't it? Pumped. Pumped. Yeah, boy. Jimothy yeah. Bullard. She's money. You big, She's beautiful money. human. Got one tea between. He's got about five grams worth of kit each and no teas. <laughs> 260 pim. 260. I don't think so. What would you, what is the strongest part of your game, would you say? Off the tee, I'd say. Off the tee? Yeah. I'm strong off the tee and I'm very strong from 70, 80, 90 yards. Yeah. Putting's a wee bit weak at the minute. Uh, everything's pretty consistent. Yeah. But nothing is, I hit a lot of fairways to give myself opportunities, but. Right. And you've got the same coach as Shane, Shane Lowry. Lowry. Yeah, Neil and, Manship. Yeah, and how often would you see him? Uh, probably once every two weeks. But it's weird, like we'd have a chat, we'd meet for a coffee and talk about golf. Oh, right. So that, that is incorporated into my training as well. So, so, yeah, that's, I love stuff like this. Yeah. W what are you talking about? Just talking about like, if I have a competition in Dubai, yeah. we'll print out the, the course map and right. we'll go through the holes and like, talk about course management. And the brilliant thing about Neil was when I was, uh, the night before the G40 Open, yeah. I had a one shot lead. And I was kind of freaking out, you know, when you're, you're kind of nervous, yeah, yeah, you're yeah. going out the next day. And he went through about 17 different scenarios of how it could have went the next day. Wow. So he said, you could be three down out, you could bogey the first three holes, you could birdie the first three and have a five shot lead. It turned out I bogeyed the first three holes. Yeah. And I went from one shot lead to losing by two shots after wow. three holes. Yeah. And then I went back to that conversation with him and dug deep. Yeah. And then just kept climbing, climbing, picking off the lead. Then I had a two shot league going in the last. It's mad. That's crazy. And then yeah. I won, so it was good. Yeah. Respect. Love it. Yeah. Well, what have we got here? 260, you say? 260. I don't think I can get there. I'm going to hit three wood. It's par five. The bunker is 237 to cover. So I reckon if I hit this well, I'll be alongside that bunker on the right. Have we chip up the hill? That's the plan. Right. Here we go. Oh. Sit. Mm, it's all right. A little bit left, but it will do. Nice little chip there. on. Golf just bites at you sometimes. Great drive though, Jim. Yeah, but the difference between being there and there is frightening. Can you get there, Jim? Just don't like a lie. Um, what is the difference? To, what, you just get a cleaner strike, can't you? 
can't see it, it's just sitting down there. It's just a little bit messy. It's not bad, bad. First I was terror, it was on a bare bit and I had to fluff around it. Bunker shot was semi well, seventy percent plugged and that is just Do you know what though? For someone inches. like for someone like me, yeah. I actually prefer to be on that because I see it's softer. Yeah, but you pick it, don't you? You yeah. come up on the ball. Do you get what I mean? Yeah, yeah. You're like a brush, you he brushes it. So you're gonna I probably don't know, I just... Probably why I'm a do, do you see that as not a great life? How do you see that? Well, I'm... I'm maximum, let's say, 240 with three woods, so I feel yeah. that could jump a bit further. Okay, so you might, like it? I like that from this distance, because you might get a bit more out of it. Yeah. I think you two don't know what you're on about, but anyway. <laughs> um, I'm going here, i got 240, and I'm don't laser... I'm laser beaming. Come on, JB. Oh, Door's yeah. open here, Bren. Oh, Jimmy! Sit. Told you it was bad lie. It was delay, was it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 50 yard. Oh, no. Long, in it? Bite. It's crap. Really bad. Really bad touch has gone, ain't been on it. Oh, come on. Shot. Cheers. Great effort, pal. I had an interesting chat. I played at Rory last year in Dubai. Yeah. And we were chatting about world number one. He was number one for, so I don't know how long, but I was number one for eight months. He was like, when he got to number one, he was very complacent. Yeah. Didn't practice as much. Felt like he'd earned everything you could earn. Yeah. Then when he lost it, yeah. he said, realisation kicked it back. So that's where I'm at at the moment. If people like Rory McIlroy are saying that to you, that's mad, that's right? Mad, so yeah. that makes you think, love that. Yeah. We'll talk about Rory later, I love that. All right, coming in. Give you that, Jim. Sure. Yeah. Cheers, mate. Yeah, mate. In for par, Mr. Brendan Lawler to go two up. Yeah, mate. Great part. <laughs> Love it. Well done. <laughs> it's an absolute Pop strike Brent. show. <laughs> Brendan Lawler, boom, coming at you. Yes, Come on. on. Wow, 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 wow. All right, Brent, what we got here, boy? So the tree's sticking out. Yeah. Just going to hit a wee draw over them, I think. I'll see to clear that trap. Too dirty. Yeah. We should have it in us, but... Doesn't look like a lot of space up there, does it? No. You can drive it, yeah? Yeah. Hit driver everywhere. Melts it, doesn't he? Just like filthy with that thing. In ya? Yeah, I hit that well. Filthy. Ugh. You had it on a string at Wentworth as well, didn't you? Yeah, I played well. Driving's I've seen the two is one of my stronger points. Sit. It's left, but it's all right. It's in play. Should be good. It's in play, mate. Got a go in it. Nah, golf shot. Wow, very good. Cheers. Thanks. Oh, that was short. Thank Killed you. you there, didn't I? <laughs> Right, you've seen a lie, obviously, another shocker. Um, I'll put it there, though, this one, 69 yards. Just float a 58 in here, come on, Jimbo. Shot, Jim. Bit long? Sorry. Right. Come on, Jim. Have a little go this, eh? Hey, come on. Oh! Oh! Chances! <laughs> come on then! Right back.
bear, can't you? This Might is, look like a polar bear, is, but he can drain 30 this footers. This spice off the movie. Oh, hold Come up, on I've, gone. The golf. I've gone, I've gone. Off the golf line. <laughs> Please like, subscribe. Yep, boop. Would this second you if it went in? It's lovely, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, you're right. <laughs> Go on, hold it for me then. Wants it. Yeah. <laughs> El Drano, I love it, son. I love it. Yeah. It's too deep, the boy. It's a game. Standard. <laughs> Evening standard. Can't believe this. <laughs> right, Brend. 170. There's a six in my hand, but I don't know. First par enough. three. Downwind a bit, huh? We've got downwind. six. Yeah. Yeah, whips it. Whips it like proper whips it. Dancing. Yeah, not bad. 170. Downwinds. Seven iron. Come on, JB. Oh, I'm not striking it today. Go on then. Go. Cool. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. I think that's on the green, Jim. Yeah, it's on the green, it's but it's just the not there. Right, Brend, I heard you talking to Tubes. Yeah. Maybe Rory. Yeah. But Tiger Woods. Yeah, Tiger. Talk to me. Yeah. What was that like playing with him? Was you nervous? <laughs> me so much. <laughs> what was he like? Uh, unreal. We played um, played a few holes in, at the President's Cup. Oh, right. She's actually there. Wow, okay. Yeah, he, um, he played that year. Yeah. It's the year he uh, walked the putt in on answer. And we walked Oh, five, yeah, yeah, five yeah, 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 yeah. So, um, Ah, no, it was an unbelievable experience. Yeah, of course. Just had to cherish that stuff. It's not like we had massive chats because you're like... Did you talk to him though? He's just scared. You don't know what to say. Yeah, of What do you say? Like, Does he rip it? Obviously, uh, what's his ball shot? He's like? just hitting it out of the middle every time. Just Anything little, different? Like, little baby cuts. Really? Just, just had it on a string? He's joking. Effortless. His long iron play is just like Silly. when he was there. Silly. Was filthy, weren't But yeah, it was a um, unique experience and met him. Yeah. A few about a year later we went to the JP McManus Pro Am. Yeah. Went to the gala dinner and he was there and Rory was there. And I was chatting to Rory, ever come up, ever talk to Tiger? I was like, yeah, I played him a few weeks ago. Come on over and say hello. He's like, well Tiger, I'm Brendan. Oh I never met you before. I didn't remember me. Did you tell Rory that yeah. before? Brilliant. <laughs> but oh, um, blinded. But uh, what a legend. What just a great experience for you that way. Unreal. Yeah. And that's what this has brought me, just yeah, meeting of course. so many new people. No, I love him, mate. Golf, it's, yeah, yeah, it's class. Savage. But Tiger, man, he's my hero. He's yeah, he got everyone into golf, didn't he? Yeah, oh, mate, mustard, like so good. I watched the Shane Lowry thing. Yeah, you know he is, he watched him as a kid, didn't he? Yeah. Rory, like they all watched everyone. watched him and then play. Imagine being that though. You break in, even for yourself, and then you're playing with him, playing against him. It's yeah. like, that must be sick, man. It's mad, but you, you don't think about it. You just, you just, you're there, you do it. And yeah, yeah. He's got an aura about him, though, when oh, he walks into a room. He and glides, he doesn't walk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just floats in. It's a glider, floats yeah, just in. like myself. <laughs> Glides about. <laughs> no doubt you'll drain this one as well. <laughs> El Drano. He had a little toot up there. Take that away. It's tooted because he ain't hold a 40 foot. <laughs> Turn it in. I understand it. Like, it's supposed to go in. Come on then. Put this. This is shocking, wouldn't it? I can see the fire in the belly though, Jim. I don't I know, know about that. Like. The eyes are lit. <laughs> Good fact. I was like, that from Madison's Gear, all right? <laughs> Anyone want game? <laughs> Jimmy Bullard had a three and a half week hangover. <laughs> Never again. Come on then. Oh. oh, whoa. Unlucky. Look, Nick, I'm that one, Yeah, absolutely. What's it like over these? It's a horse coach. Huh?
Oh, oh clutch, play, it. Jimmy. clutch. Play, Jim. Needed this that, otherwise three downs are hard to come back from, isn't it? Still in the game, two down. Brendan, once again, thanks so much for doing this, pal. Really, really, really appreciate it. Good um, what you've done for disability golf and what you've done in your career oh, so joke. far has been unbelievable, mate. Mm. But how did it all begin for you? Yeah, so I was born with a condition called Ellis Van Crevel, which is shorter limbs and shorter stature. I was born with a hole in my heart as well, so I had to get a VSD repair at like six weeks old. Yeah. So nearly died, I was in hospital for six months. Wow. Born with six fingers. So Dad said I would have been good at the piano. Sure. Wow. So it's cut there. Yeah. That's a knuckle oh man, I didn't from the know other that. finger. And also I can't, I have no knuckles Gee. in the tops of my hands, so I can't close a fist. Wow. So be a <laughs> boxer. Boxer. <laughs> <laughs> so there, was so, there was a lot going on, lot going yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. I did not realise that about the hands. Yeah, so when I'm gripping the club. So, yeah, you gripping, yeah. Yeah. so, so come off, Scotty, bring him a little closer. Yeah. So if you see this finger, everyone yeah. wraps that finger around. Yeah. I can't, so it's actually literally not on the club when I swing. Wow. So it's hanging off. So I, the only hand I have grip with is that knuckle there. Right. So I'm literally really? gripping, gripping with there. That's unreal, boy, isn't it? Yeah, it's mad. To still have that control in that yeah. is phenomenal. And, and drive too, yeah, so yeah, 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 and phenomenal. Got it on it the It was all just feel. So I basically, I was big into football when I was young. Yeah. So my size, I played right up till I was 12 years old. Everyone was like growing, right. I was getting busted. So was ya? I was in hospital every every game, I was breaking the really? leg. Or it, was, it was mad stuff. But then I got into pitch and putt, which is a part three golf. Yeah. yeah. And uh, reached a great heights in that. I won a Leinster when I was 15. And I was the youngest to win in All Ireland. I was 16 to win a senior. Did you know you had it straight away? Did you have some kind of feel for the game? I had a feel, but I worked hard as well. I just had to constantly there. Mum and Dad had dropped me during the summer. I was there for seven, eight hours a day, just doing it because it was fun. Yeah. yeah. Then I won in Leinster, or I won in All Ireland when I was 16, and then give up pitch and putt straight away. Right. When I won that day, I never played again. It's like I, I've reached the heights and that. I can't, can't do anything bigger than winning in All Ireland. So moved to the golf, yeah. got a handicap of 28. And had 52 points in my first round. <laughs> really? Wow. Yeah, got cut eight shots Nailed straight, it. straight yeah. down to 20. And then just kept getting progressive. It was off scratch by 18. And just loved it. Started when I was 16 and got to scratch at 18. That's unbelievable. That's, that's quality, so isn't it? impressive. That's quick, yeah. isn't it? That is quick. Is it the competition side that grabs you? Because of me playing you, the competitive edge you have, I can see. Yeah, I love, you it, love it. I played a lot of amateur, high level amateur stuff. Like disability golf wasn't even in the equation Where it was. four years ago. Yeah. So I played amateur golf, I was playing in the north of Ireland against people off plus four, plus five. Right. And when I'd rock up to the tee, of this, right, he's a small guy, we're going to beat him. And then they're right. four down with five to play and they're like, what happened here? <laughs> yeah, gee. Yeah. yeah, so I always had that competitive edge. I love winning. Yeah. Always wanted to compete, always wanted to win. And disability golf happened when I was 20. Yeah. No, sorry, 21. Okay. My auntie Anne found it, went to my first event and completely underestimated the talent. I was like, right. Really? Do you I thought you was going to walk? Did you go in a bit like Big walk, Spuddy? Yeah, literally. Right, okay. yeah. And there was guys off one leg shooting level power, one under, and I was like, oh, what, joke, what's man. going on here? So I came fourth in that event. Such yeah. a learning curve that I knew I had to do. I seen it was a niche in disability golf that no one had exploited before. Right. And I went out and won my next three events by like six shots, five shots, right. ten shots or something against the same field that I came fourth in. Yeah. And then um, Modest Golf, Niall Horn's company approached yeah. me. And I signed with them boys, and then the deal started coming in. Adidas, TaylorMade, ISPS, Handa, Horizon. Because I spoke to Niall and Mark about it, they were like, "I'm coming on golf." Like, yeah, amazing. Yeah. Boys, those boys have been great for you, haven't they? So supportive, and yeah. what I love about them—they never treat me differently from day one. Yeah, it was like they have Tyrrell Hatton, and I'm not treated any differently to Tyrrell or Leona yeah. Maguire, and, and that's what I love. All you want is inclusion yeah. and disability golf, and yeah, well said, we're modest. Yeah. That's what we have. So it's no, good. I love it. Nah, good. Respect, mate. Nice yeah, and Mr. Nal Horan, get yourself on here. You <laughs> keep saying you are. You yeah, keep saying, get yourself on here, Mr. Nal Horan. At Silver Birch's 270, the bushy apple trees, Tom Davis story, up there, <laughs> is about 310. So, just inside Silver Birch, brother. I think you'll be right. Slung it around the corner, didn't you? Yeah. I don't know what's out there. Jimmy, that's a few tees here. Get Jimmy. Hold up. <laughs> He's been round already. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Come on, the castles. Here we go then. Come on then.
Yeah, that should be perfect, Jim. That's nutted, that thing. It's as good as I got that. Come on, then. Yeah, that's nice. Oh, here we go. What you got? 237. Yeah. It's in range. 3 wood. Yeah. Bang on, innit? It's a wee draw. Good little number for you, this, innit? It's a wee hang and lie, so it could go left. Do you like that? Hang and lie? Yeah. Do you not like... Really, no. Because no, no. I, I draw it anyway, so... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I this is looking like a hook, yeah? So I'll probably start at the... <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not a hook. See the wee pole there? Yeah, just start out there, and if it stays straight, good. Soft yeah. one, you're good, isn't you? Right. Didn't come round, did it? No. It's up there though. Pitching a part for bird. It's all right. Mate, you're allowed one bad one. Well, not even <laughs> that, that, that bad. Lie. When but... you just have a little chat with you, just quickly, you know when you're hanging lies there, do they make you come inside it? Because they do me. Because I've got that, I'm scared for the tug, so I'll get inside it a bit. Do you do that? Is no, that an issue you have, no? No, I play for the tug, you see. You play for it? Yeah, I try to whip that around. Okay, got you, yeah, yeah. Taking it about 10 yards yeah. further right. Yeah. But it's staying pretty straight. 218, four iron, here we go. And that is dancing. It is, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Is it on? Rolled on. Low bullet. <laughs> you like that one, didn't you? That was nice. Hey, little oh. tiger and sting. What are you saying, boy? You got a bit quiet. <laughs> <laughs> didn't know I had that in the locker. Right, Bren, talk us through this for um, us mid to high handicappers. Well, first of all, I'm doing a club change. I had a 54. I'm going to go to a 58. Okay. You want to flight this a bit higher? Right. It's a, I short side myself. There's a little dip there. I need to carry. Greens, greens so, where you aim, so where are you aiming? I'm aiming about a foot right of the pin, right of the pin. to land it right on the edge or probably hit, probably just land it on the green. But I'll take like a 10 foot or long because it's a tough shot. And the execution, because it's on the downward slope, are but you It's are sitting you up changing? a wee bit. Yeah. I'll put a wee bit more le weight on my left side, Yeah. open up the club face and kind of play like a bunker shot, nice. slap it down a wee bit. The more weight on the left because it's on a down slope. On a wee down slope, yeah. It's more of a field shot, so it's gonna come out pretty high, need to land soft. Oh it was very close to being that really was good. Nearly spot on. Yeah. I mean, it's not too shabby, let's be honest. Oh, I'd be absolutely delighted with it. <laughs> it's nearly unbelievable. Nearly unbelievable. Great shot, pal. Thanks. Right, got a chance here. Get it inside four foot. Here we go. Little 54, bunt and run, little claw. Come on, JB. Jimmy B. Cheers, mate. That's good. Jimmy B. Cheers, boy. The place to be. It's got to go. Oh, he had it. He had it. He had it. Still two under. Oh, Jimmy Bullard for another bird to bring it back to one. Hmm. Yes, come on then, here we go. Found a bit of rhythm. This is that's right. This is good. This is real good. Oh, I've got the flag. Yes. <laughs> Still one down, Bren, me, yeah? Yeah. Still one up, sixth hole. We got 426 yards par four, straight to the pylon. 
Bomb one. Bit of wind off left, fraction? Left, yeah. We cut. Ooh. Soft little lemon, this suits me, here we go. Your shape, James, isn't it? Mmm, suits me this, come on. Didn't catch it, get over there. Get over. I'm not sure, mate. Climbed it, didn't it? Kick, it, yeah. kick left, didn't it? Yeah. Ripped. Really good. Cheers. Really good, that. Yeah, shot, mate. Cheers. 157, Tubesy. 157. A nice seven, I think. I've got to say, I know we talked about it earlier. You said the driving is the strongest part of your game, but you absolutely bomb it, don't you? Hit it, yeah, hit it pretty far. What, what's your average drive? Well, cold conditions now is probably 240 carry, yeah. maybe 250. If I get out to Dubai in the lakes, I can get it out to about 270. Wow. Well, rough run out, probably 260 carry, 270. And, and did you do like gym work and stuff to strengthen up? And uh, I'm in the gym the last. And... I wasn't big into the gym to be honest. No. I keep myself in pretty good shape. Yeah. But I started gym the last few months. Right. And I've got my swing speed up, everything. Yeah. But I'm not doing big weight training. I'm doing like a lot of flexibility, mobility stuff, and just getting more nimble. Because that's what people say, isn't it? It's all about the movement. Yeah. Because the... I, I, I hate being sore. Right. So I do a big gym session and bits, and I come out here and I can't move. Right. But if I can do really, really hard stretching and a lot, yeah. wee bit of weight training, but not much. Well, whatever you're doing is working. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, mate. Get it dancing. Go on. Get up. Straight at it. Get up. Straight at Get it. Up. This is. Oh, it's a bit... Oh. Wee bit heavy. Yeah. Come on, Jimbo, find the middle. Slightly door ajar. Here we go. One, four, nine. Big nine. Come on. Come on, JB. Oh, please, baby. Get down. <laughs> Get down. Oh, jeez. Good shot, Jim. Right. Yeah, cheers, mate. Jamie. We nine now? Yeah, nine nine. Jumpy dude. How jump. good is this stand with Jumpy doo doo. Scotty, how good is this stand with golf? I'm going to, it's so good, I'm going to ask it again. How good is this stand with golf? <laughs> I'm going to chip this one it's in. It's really there. nice, this course, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's lovely. So it's just made a big call to the camera, so I'm going to chip this one in. I was going to say, I was going to ask, I ask this quite a lot, but I like to get different pros' perspectives on it. Why, why chip from here when... It's too much, uh, too much fringe to work with, hard to control the speed. But with okay. a chip you can land it sort of half a yard, check it up and let it roll out. Just a bit easier to control. Right. I just don't think I've got that in my artillery. But I'd, just, I'd do an eight, just let eight and bump and run, yeah. I can't do that. Do you not? No, I have to flight everything. Wow. See how this goes. If you want eight iron lessons, just come to me, mate. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, fancied it. He fancied it. Let's have a little look at him, see if the old knee knocker um, shakes him up a bit. Top crowd. Oh yeah. <laughs> he expects me to give him that. <laughs> you give me two three four footers at the first and second, I thought that'd bite you on the arse. He's got a three footer. I've just gone no. <laughs> I'm a f coming in. Saying that, I've got to be careful with this one. Oh, I knew I didn't hit it as soon as I hit it. 
<laughs> what? <laughs> you don't like them, do you? <laughs> you don't. You don't know, do you? I love these. Do you? Yeah. <laughs> no! Left doors! Left doors! Oh my! Well done! Uh, Brendan, everyone I speak to you about, they say, what a fella, what a golfer, what yeah. a great guy. And you, you are loved in the golfing community. But unfortunately, there was uh, some social media posts and stuff that were quite frankly f disgusting. Yeah. Um, well, how was it for oh, you? Come here. Like, I grew up with people looking at me my whole life and you go into supermarkets and kids are looking and it never affected me you grow up so you get intolerance that you don't even realize but I hit a shot in Japan playing the DP World Tour first ever DP World start which was unbelievable and Amazing. hit this shot we nippy 54 degree hit the pin spun back and it went viral and get over a million views and all that sort of stuff and um, my family were going through the comments and seeing the negativity and it didn't, I, I don't care about that. I read it every day, I see it, and it doesn't bother me. And Liam came up to him and said, would you highlight it? He said, you're in the limelight. You're being a spokesperson for disability golf. This is my brother. Yeah. I think you should highlight it. So I went to my management team about the idea. and I said, yeah, let's do something. So we done like an image of uh, the worst comments and then a picture of me. And I just spoke after the video and it just got massive traction. And I didn't do it for- It was for quite powerful, wasn't what, it, what you did? What words towards you, like? Yeah, what, yeah just like midget golf midget, midget, and midget. all that. Yeah. joke, yeah. really? All that sort of stuff, yeah. yeah. But I thought, you know what the worst thing about it was? I couldn't reply with digs. I had a serious dig for every one of them. Yeah. And like a coping mechanism, I went into my notes, wrote each comment and wrote my reply in the notes. Yeah. Because you can't do that on social media. You no, can't no, rip no. into people now. But that was like, not that I needed to cope with it, but that was that's me. That's a joke like, though, that's a liberty, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, but I didn't care. I just, I highlighted it then for, there's going to be a lot more disability golfers in the limelight. Mm. And one comment can destroy people, never mind hundreds. So I said, I'll highlight this. If I can cope with it, it'll show people other people can as well. And that's why I did it. Oh, well no, done for you, yeah. though. Yeah. Absolutely. No, I mean, do what there. you did, yeah. you know, yeah. to do that sort of statement and do that, it, that will help so many, so many people. I didn't know but, that. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't know he was even going to talk about yeah. it. Like, that yeah. gives me the, I just want to send the boys around. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but like, boys, no, I it, do. It's, it's just absolutely like, disgraceful. It's, it's disgraceful, uncalled for. Unfortunately, yeah. there are people on social media who are bellends yeah. and, you know, do stuff like that too. But the message got out unbelievable. Like, you had Niall Horne shared it, Justin yeah. Thomas got on to me, loads of people from the Gulf and World got on to oh, me. Nice, Not that he was looking for pity, but it's just a highlight. No, no, no you got absolutely, you made yeah. the right decision. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, uh, mate, yeah. And then loads of videos went up since with disability golfers and yeah. to be no hit. So yeah. it got the, the message got across, which was great. Absolutely. And, and that's what we want. You talk about disability golf and, you know, the, you doing stuff like that, you know, it really is progressing isn't it now? 100 percent yeah we're trying to make it a household household name like get the prize money going yeah i'm very lucky to make a living from the sport but we're trying to get many more people to do the same and we're going are you making right. prize money now not yet not right really okay now. nearly so, there you want some big sponsors close, coming in yeah. help right yeah we need big sponsors to come in dp world are on on that yes. minute yeah we're trying to we don't want too many of the same people winning events and that's that's our problem at the minute yeah yeah so the more better players come in well, you're, you're and kip win it all don't you you don't give a Give me the money! <laughs> <laughs> Give me the money! Oh, I absolutely love doing? you, mate. But no, what you, what you, are, you guys are doing for disability golf is yeah, unbelievable. It's unreal. And I mean, in five years' time, where do you, where do you see it? I see it to be a paid tour. Yeah. With say 30, 40, 50 disability golfers, that we have many people on the par, yeah. being competitive and and being on the DP World Tour all year round, which would be incredible. You're a legend, That's mate. That's the plan, mate. Love you. Legend, so man. Mate. Thank you. On the seventh, I'm still one down here. So, right, this is a 4.35, there's a late right at bunkers 290. So I'm just gonna drill it at the left-hand side and don't miss right, here we go. Yeah, nice shot, Jim. Cheers, sure. mate. In it? Should be shorter. Might be short. It's two eighty-five in it. Oh. 
Sit. Just Shot. up the left. Just up the left. Yeah, you can knock go right there, can you? You in the bunker, Jim? Nah, nah. he's just shoot. F*** you. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, it's, I think it's crept around the corner. I think you've got a shot on. Uh. Unlucky pal. Timothy Bullard. The door has been opened. One five nine. Bit of wind off the right. Oh, God. Down as well, isn't it? Yeah. Same shot as last hole. And I'm good. Come on, Jay Beef, 99. Jim, do you know a lot of people on the channel really feel upset about your bag when you leave it on the floor? Pure though, isn't it? It's lovely, but they're like, why doesn't it just have why doesn't it have legs on it? It's lighter. Yeah, there we go, people. Just saving You're the asking bag. why, now you know why. When you don't pay for a buggy for me, I've got to do that. <laughs> <laughs> what? I need to get me head in gear. Sorry, come sorry, on, sorry. come on. Hey, oh, is that part of no, your... No, 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 no. I've got no favourites here. I just, when I saw the bag go down the floor, I, I know, I don't loads and loads of people It's go, disrespect. It it's not disrespect, they just don't, they don't know why you, you do it. You've got to disrespect your bag every now and then because okay. it shows you disrespect when you hit bad shots. Like the whole bag. Sometimes I get the arse with it, so I sling it. Okay. Sometimes I caress it and drop it down. Sometimes I catch it on the foot. Sometimes I just leave it in geese <laughs> shit. <laughs> I was going to say. <laughs> Coming in. Honestly. Big shot, coming in, stop messing about, Jimbo. <sighs> nice. That is absolutely fantastic. Cheers, mate. Great that. shot, James. Cheers, lad. Cheers. Oh, back, the boy is back. Poetry. He's had a couple Hold of quiet, on it. He's had a couple of quiet weeks on the golf. He's absolutely back. Found a little bit of rhythm. Yeah. <laughs> golf shot. Cheers. Really good. <laughs> good duck. I'll give you that. Cheers. Big thanks to Burr Hill. Great course, isn't it? Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Really nice. Firm. So nice. Yeah, firm. Oh, God. Left it short, you thought it was in, didn't you? <laughs> I think it was in. Oh, I thought that was, I thought it was going up. Oh, you thought it was in. Cards are like a gabber. <laughs> <laughs> 165. Big enough wind, isn't it? Still one down, isn't I? Um, yes, yeah, into, off the right. Just punt the seven. Punt the seven, come on in. Long. Just not the right club, is it? It's a eight iron. Just close the face down. It. Gorgeous. Come on. Cool. It's all right, is she? Not yeah. happy with it. Not really. No. Oh, he's, oh, oh, he's in game mode. We've a high. Not happy fish. no more. <laughs> oh, what happened to Happy Brenda? <laughs> Brenda, Brendan. Brenda. <laughs> <laughs> Grass into bare lie. Wow, right. 
This needs a bit of thinking. Um, that ain't good. Have you seen that lie? Show them that. Grass into, bare necessity. What you've got over it all done. Just get that edge in. Pitch it just on the fringe. Oh, bye, 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 bye. I knew it. It was either that or the old four foot in front job. Brendan. Damn. This is it. The Brendan Bullard Cup. I think if you're down in two, it's all it's Romeo done. Come on, pal. Oh. 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 Finished it anyway. Oh, oh my god, oh, what a part. What a part, that was for the, that was to finish me off. Oh. <sighs> Take it away. The standard I is being that was in, absolutely lad. phenomenal. Brendan Lawler, oh. still two under. Jimmy Bullard needs this, or it is done. Uh, Allow me, sir. Keep the match alive, doesn't yeah. it? Too good, son. Cheers, Jimbo. Very I'm good, mate. Loved every man. minute of it, all right? That, Sorry that I didn't have my game. Mate, yeah, but there you go. He played well. He was too good, weren't yeah. he? Was you two under? Two under, yeah. Two under. Two under. Mr. Brendan Lawler. Enjoy that, please. Enjoy Unbelievable. That. Give this legend oh, a follow on social. Oh, we'll put the link down here. Uh, good day, Choosy, weren't it? Really enjoyed that. Absolutely loved it. Thank you to Burhill yet again. More stuff with Brendan coming soon. Please like, subscribe. That was golf life. That was exhibition. Love yous. That was so good.